good morning children i'm back again with english recorded classes and this is ma'am anna your english teacher are you all ready for today's class let's get started today's content is as follows we will do a recap of what we learned in the previous class then we will continue with the lesson the great spirit of the sand tree we will look into some vocabulary it's going to be something different children this time then of course comes my time to ask you all questions we will summarize all what we have learned and then i will tell you all what has to be written in your class work and your homework before we start off with today's class let's quickly summarize what we learned in the previous class and for those of you who didn't listen attentively to what i thought this is a glimpse of what we thought in the previous class now we saw that there was a king of north indian company who wanted to build a palace more remarkably in such a way that he didn't want to spend too much but he wanted it to look beautiful so what he thought he thought instead of spending money okay he thought of decorating his palace only with single wood column wood column means the wooden pillars so then what he said he called his ministers and said send men to the forest which is near and far and cut down and bring to the city without delay the mightiest the mightiest means the strongest and the beautiful of the trees so then now um, all the foresters as told by the king went in search of the tree they found really strong trees but they could not carry or drop or drag them to the palace so they went back and told the king that it was not possible for them to drag the wood or the tree so the king asked why they said because it was difficult for them to drag the tree as it was the, the land was huge right and it had all stones and mountains and the land was not level okay they had to walk and walk because it is very far from the palace so the king said what about horse then why don't you bring the tree on the horse then they said it is not possible because to move such a huge tree the horse will not able to move or inch as well so then uh, the, the king was worried he said what about bullocks then so then the men said the bullocks also is not possible because it is a dense forest what is a dense forest children it's a huge forest where trees are grown very close by and it is not easy to walk into the forest so then the king asked what about elephants then so then the men replied it is not possible because of the marshy ground which means the wet ground the elephant will fall to their knees so till here we did learn in the last class and we also looked into we did look into some past tense and few antonyms as well and i did ask you all questions and you all really answered it well so let's start off with today's class let's see what happens next i want you all to turn to page number 58 
in your literature book. I am continuing from page 57 children, the last line on page 57. So please keep your fingers and read while I am reading as well. Very well, said the king angrily. If you cannot bring me such a tree from the forest, then you must find it. Turn to page number 58. Within one of my village parks, bring it here within a week. The foresters left and went directly to a splendid sal tree which grew not far from the palace. It was worshipped by the people of many villages around because within it dwelt a tree spirit who gave the tree its great strength, size and beauty. The foresters decided with much reluctance that the king's column must be made from this lordly sal tree and from no other. They returned to it with garlands, lamps and music to offer them to the spirit inside and to warn him that he must leave his ador for within seven days it would be cut to the ground. The tree spirit heard and understood well enough what was about to happen. It remained quiet as a resting breeze blew for a few moments. Then all his leaves began to whisper and his topmost branches bowed and the turn to page 59 children. The foresters went away satisfied that he had answered their plea. But this was what the leaves were whispering to each other. Should the king's decision hold, not only shall we perish, we and the spirit, for the sal spirit cannot exist anywhere else, but a fall will crush all the little sal trees they have sprung up and thrive under our protection. For ourselves, we cannot, but for the children's sake, we wish that the king had not wished it so. The spirit within the tree thought, this must not be allowed. I must visit the king and persuade him. That night, while the king was asleep, a shining figure appeared to him in his dream and spoke in a voice that was like a rustle. I am the spirit of the sal tree, O king. Your foresters this day have told me of your decision to fell me. I have come to beg you to change your mind. No, I cannot, grumbled the king. Yours is the only tree in all my parks strong enough to support a palace building and therefore I must have it. Consider, O king, for a thousand years I have been worshipped by the people of many villages and never has anything but good come out to them. The birds nest in me. I send a vast and lovely shade upon the grass beneath me. Against my trunk people rest and the wild creatures do. Glad of the coolness, the earth blesses me. All true enough, good tree spirit, spoke the king. But for all this, I cannot spare you. I have made up my mind. We'll stop till here children and let's see what happens in the next session. I want you all to underline all the new words that you find in the reader itself. Alright? 
I hope you all have understood what I have read. But let me explain it to you children. We saw that even the horse, the bullock, nor the elephant was able to drag the tree. Okay. So the king got very angry and what he told? He told his men that I don't know what you all do. Go to the nearby village park and bring the most strongest tree ever within a week. So then the foresters also poor fellows they all went and they were searching. So they went directly to a splendid sal tree. So they saw a sal tree near the palace itself, very close to the palace. So they went straight to the tree and they decided that this is the right one because people had worshipped that tree and they, they thought because people are worshipping this tree, it is good for the palace. So what they did was they went to the sal tree with garlands. They took garlands, they took lamb and music and because in that tree dwelt a spirit. Uh, th that is just an imaginary. Okay, So they felt that there was a spirit in that tree and so they took all this lamp and flower and music. So they went and warned the spirit inside the tree and told the spirit to leave the tree and go because they are cutting down the tree. And uh, the the poor spirit in the tree knew what the foresters were talking. Then immediately what happened was there was a light wind and the leaves all started shaking. So these foresters thought that it was a green signal for them. The spirit agreed and they were all happy and they went back. But this poor spirit was talking. Now and the trees also were whispering and telling, should the tree be cut down? Then, should not the king think over his decision? So they were talking to themselves. Then the spirit inside the sal tree thought that no, because there are many other small sal trees growing okay, around the sal tree. So it is not good. If not for my sake, at least for those small plants sake, I must go and talk to the king. So the spirit after thinking so much, one day when the king was sleeping, he went inside the palace. So he went, the spirit went like, uh, what sound it made? It went like a rustle. Now what is a rustle sound? It is a sound like the leaves and the papers. When the paper is flying, you know, that rustling sound comes. So like a rustle sound, the spirit went, very politely bowed down before the king and said, Please don't cut us. Please change your decision. Please don't cut me off. Okay? Because people come and worship me. With faith they come. From years together this is happening and in my tree the birds come and rest and there are many people who just come and take rest under my tree and only good has happened to people, nothing bad has happened. So the earth also has blessed me. So what the king says? The king says, all what you are telling is true, I believe. but. I cannot take my decision back and I cannot spare you. I will definitely cut you down. I have made up my mind. No one can't change it. How sad, no children. The poor tree is doing so much for us. But we in return what we do? We cut it off either to make wood or to decorate our house. So I put up pictures, children. The first one is how a sal tree looks. You all would have noticed on highways or in your villages, you will find this tree with these beautiful flowers. 
then how a tree spirit looks this is just an imaginary one i picked it up from the net and then as i said there are small plants and grass growing around the sal tree right the third picture is all small sal tree which is coming up and the king sleeping in his palace and how the tree spirit goes with the rustle sound with the bright lightning this is how it could be okay and then of course when the king is telling he will not spare the tree gets the spirit gets very upset because the tree is going to be cut down hope you all have understood children it's interesting isn't it we'll wait and watch in the next class if the king has changed his decision or will he cut down the tree now let's look at some true or false the leaves of the sal tree were concerned about themselves is it true or false children so you all know the answer false only elephants could be used to move the tree true or false false because it couldn't the tree spirit thought to visit the king and persuade him true the king sent his men to the forest to cut down and bring the mightiest tree is it true or false children true let's look at some substitute following with one word government by kings and queens monarchy a feeling of pain agony cutting down trees in a forest deforestation plants in a particular region flora and now children we all know what adverbs are isn't it i've put up a list of adverbs just have a look at it active actively admire admiringly bear barely brisk briskly calm calmly dim dimly dream dreamily frank frankly great greatly hungry hungrily so we all know most adverbs end with an ly or ily so this is just for your information children all right it's just a recap of the adverbs and now comes my turn to ask you all questions are you all ready all right now the first question did the foresters bring the tree via an elephant did the foresters bring the tree via an elephant if your answer is yes okay if your answer is no i want you to give reason if your answer is no i want you all to give reason why the elephant couldn't bring the tree the second one where was the sal tree where was the sal tree third one why did the foresters go with gar garlands lamp and music to the sal tree why did the foresters go with garlands lamps and music to the sal tree now what did the spirit in the sal tree decide to do what did the spirit in the sal tree decide to do how did the spirit appear before the king how did the spirit appear before the king so this question please think and answer all right and 
why was this tree worshipped why was this tree worshipped the last question what did the king tell the sal tree what did the king tell the sal tree children last time i got good response from you all this time i want more response than last time so even if your answers are wrong do not worry i will still correct you all it is not that you have to write and get all your answers correct no you all make mistakes never mind you all learn from your mistakes isn't it so type in the answers and send it to me let me see who will get a round of applause in the group now let's quickly summarize all what we have learned today we started off with the rest of the lesson on page 58 and 59 i read the lesson for you all isn't it and i did explain the lesson as well with pictures correct then we looked into some true or false we looked into substitute the following with one word and then few adverbs okay so in the next class we will complete the lesson all right now let's see what is there for you for homework and class work now for your class works okay for your class work i will be sending notes as usual via whatsapp you will have to copy it neatly in your class workbook children do not forget to write the index okay and please write neatly draw lines wherever required children all right and for your homework on page 63 in the literature reader you have matched the following there are about only 3 match the following please do that in the reader itself okay with pencil just mark 1 2 3 and then on page 64 okay the first may substitute the following which i have already done you will have to copy the answers in the reader with pencil and the second may which is the opposites which i have already done in the last video that is in the last session this opposites were already been done i want you all to go through the video again which i have which i did last friday okay and write the answers in the textbook with pencil very neatly either you can write it down again because you have enough space or above each word you can write the opposite very clear children what is to be done for your homework and class work do not send message to me or do not call me up and ask me ma'am which page is the homework or what is the homework without even going through the video if you never understood children please go through the video again and again okay you will definitely understand and still if in case you didn't understand yes then of course you can message me or call me all right hope you all have understood the lesson very clearly till here in case if i call you up and ask you questions you must be ready to answer and also make sure you all complete your diary as well okay and as you all know christmas also is coming there are some competitions yeah try and participate children let's make this christmas more beautiful all right so until we meet in the next class this is ma'am anna signing off take care bye bye and wishing you all a very happy christmas children miss you all
ठीक है